And so the Washington Post citing once again anonymous sources as if they haven't been wrong enough recently, reporting tonight that the special counsel, Robert Mueller, is actually looking in a possible obstruction of justice by the president. Now, you've got to keep in mind the same newspaper, the Washington Post, that has been wrong time and time again just in the last six weeks when it comes to breaking so-called news stories about the president. For example, the Post was dead wrong when they reported the Deputy Attorney General, Rod Rosenstein, threatened to quit because of James Comey's firing. Rosenstein actually said the exact opposite on camera at a TV station in Washington, D.C. Then, Washington Post, flat out wrong about James Comey asking for more resources for the Russia investigation just before he was fired. The acting FBI Director, Andrew McCabe, later testified under oath that never happened. They had enough money. And of course, the Washington Post are not the only members of this destroy Trump media that we've been talking about that has gotten it wrong over and over again. ABC, CNN, the New York Times, they've all done the exact same thing. So tonight and over the next few days when the media predictably is going to breathlessly and hyperventilate all kinds of reports and brand new black helicopters and tinfoil hat conspiracy theories to you, the American people, as they lie again, remember they have zero credibility left. And it's only a matter of time before this, too, will be debunked like everything else they reported in pretty much the last 11 months. Now, here's the only massive issue being ignored in all of this. We have actual crimes, actual collusion that needs to be fully completed, investigated, and prosecuted. And they have nothing to do with President Trump or his administration. James Comey testified. Loretta Lynch tried to influence the FBI's Clinton email investigation. That is called obstruction of justice. Comey also may have broken the law. Remember, we talked about 18 U.S.C. 4, 18 U.S.C. 641. If he thought it was obstruction, he had a moral legal obligation to tell people immediately. Robert Mueller, this guy has more conflicts of interest than, by the way, we can count on this show, which also are violations of federal law. Mueller and Comey have been close friends for a long time. Comey admitted he leaked the memo to the New York Times, to the press, hoping it would bring about a special counsel, which, by the way, turned out to be his best buddy, his BFF, Robert Mueller. Now, Fox News previously reported Comey's testimony last week was, quote, closely coordinated with the special counsel. These are massive conflicts of interest that cannot be ignored. According to my colleague Greg Jarrett, Comey and Mueller's relationship may, in fact, violate two laws. We're putting them up on the side of your screen right now. You can read them. And it gets worse. Mueller's investigative team, let's see, three people donated to Democrats, including Hillary and Obama, and one investigator, the very same lawyer that represented Hillary Clinton and the Clinton Foundation, and, by the way, tried to oppose Freedom of Information Act requests. Now, speaking, by the way, of the Clintons, we know Hillary Clinton committed felonies with her email private server scandal. If Democrats want to talk about collusion, great, let's talk about it and take a look at the collusion with Vladimir Putin, Uranium One, 20 percent of the foundational material to make nuclear weapons. While serving as Secretary of State, she signed off on a waiver giving 20 percent of that uranium to Putin, to the Russians, all while people involved in that deal were funneling millions of dollars back to the Clinton Foundation. There you go, Russia conspiracy. And her husband doubled his speaking fees in Moscow. And by the way, what we're seeing now, this is so deep. It's a deep state. They want retribution. This is now about an unelected part of your government looking to overturn the results of a duly elected president. By the way, whoever leaked this information to the Washington Post, unnamed sources, five of them, unnamed sources, they need to be arrested, prosecuted, and put in jail. It is time once and for all. We have got to get a grip on Obama, deep state holdovers. Every one of them need to go or this will never end. And those people that are leaking top secret information, special access information, classified information. And Comey, Clinton, and Lynch all need to be prosecuted based on just the facts as we know them now. And Mueller and Rod Rosenstein recuse themselves, resign immediately here with reaction.